Hey there, everybody. Good morning. Welcome back to day four from the beach. We're here in Gulf Shores this week, uh, enjoying the week away and uh, having a little bit of rest, relaxation, and fun. And even though we're doing that, I'm here with you for today's installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. Today, cash is not king, in spite of what you read everywhere. More on that right after this. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where five days a week you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. Hey there everybody, good morning and welcome to this Thursday installment of Seven minutes in the morning, almost said talk radio for entrepreneurs. Hope you are enjoying the week so far and have gotten some value from our time together already this week. If you do, if you get value out of our time together today, I would appreciate the old like, thumbs up, stars, hearts, whatever is appropriate in the venue where you are watching or listening. And when you get here, leave a comment, say hi, hello, good morning, whatever floats your boat. Uh, all of those are encouraging to me and I enjoy reading those comments. And we'll do my very best to reply to each and every one of them. All right, so today I'm going to talk to you about um, the, the two ways that we get paid. I, in the open, I said, you know, cash is not king. And one of, you know, a lot of the debate, a big debate that's going on societally right now is, uh, is universal basic income, this uh, minimum wage debate. Um, the, the one the battle with the one percent all of this relates to money now where we get hung up and this is a you know much more in-depth topic than we we have time with than we have seven minutes for this morning but where we get hung up is on believing that the dollar that I get um, or, or that that piece of currency that gets deposited into my bank account, that that is the value that I'm being paid in. And that that value, that, that slip of currency is the do all end all. So I want to share with you a quote this morning from Harold uh, Greenan. He says, in the business world, everyone is paid in two coins, cash and experience. And I'll pause there for a second. In every job you've ever had, you were paid cash, whoo, camera's shaking. <laughs> uh, in every job you've ever had, you've been paid in cash. You, know, you work 40 hours, you get paid you know, for a week. But you also gain experience, and that's, that's really where your resume comes into play, right? If your bank statement is, is measuring how you're paid in cash, then your resume measures how you've been paid in experience. And for many people, the more experience you gain, the, the greater responsibility you're offered either in that company, in, that, uh, in, in another company, or maybe you've gained enough experience in a particular industry where you can begin a business of your own. So let's go back to our quote. In the business world, everyone is paid in two coins, cash and experience. Take the experience first. The cash will come later. Right? So think of, of this as you are building the business, right? If you have an opportunity, and, and this is how, you know, this, this applies to employees and business owners alike. Way too many times I've had conversations with um, aspiring business owners or nascent business owners who don't understand their market well enough. So well, I can't give my product away. I have to, I, I, I got to get paid in order to pay for the, the product, et cetera, et cetera. This is where a lot of people start a business undercapitalized. Maybe you do. In, in a lot of cases, I think it's prudent for you to give away some of your product or service in order to get the feedback from the market. Now, you are absolutely correct. Correct. You have to pay for the, the cost of acquiring and delivering that product or service, and that's where you know the need for capital arises. Generally, I tell everyone, sit down, spend a week, figure out what you think it costs, it's gonna cost you know, for the first six months, first 12 months, and then double it. That's what you really need. 
because there's always something you forgot. There's always something you didn't think about. There's always, you know, a need to have that flexibility, right? But think about it this way. Let's say that I can deliver my, my product or service for um, no cost, half price, whatever the case may be. And, and I do this um, sometimes, frequent, I, I did it frequently getting started where I would say, here, let me, let me give this to you for 50% off. I, I'm willing to do that if you'll uh, complete a, a questionnaire at the end, if you'll, you know, if you'll finish a survey, then I'll give you this 50% off. Now, a lot of people, a lot of businesses will use this as a sales tactic. Just come in, come on the vacation, you can stay in our place. It's just a quick 30 minute, you know, tell us what you thought of the experience and then, you know, everything else is on us. I, I, that's not what I'm telling, that's not what I'm suggesting. I'm not telling you to go, you know, use this as a sales tactic. This is an opportunity to gain experience. You gain this experience serving the customer, you get feedback from the customer, and then you, you iterate over your product or service. So in the same way that you can gain experience as an employee, this allows you to gain experience uh, as, a, as an entrepreneur, as a business owner, um, and, and someone who's building a product, all right? So, so remember our quote, you know, everybody gets paid in two coins, experience and cash. Take the experience first because when you get that feedback, you build a better product or service and then the cash will come, all right? Hope that's been helpful. If it has, I would appreciate it if you'd share this video with just one person that you know out of your network. Go ahead and click that share button and uh, put, type their name in there. Share this with them. If you happen to be watching on YouTube, which I don't mention this very often, I'd love it if you'd subscribe and then click the bell and get notified when the new videos come out. They come out about 30 minutes after our live show every day. We do a little bit of work on them and then they come, they, uh, uh, matriculate. They, they trickle out live about 30 minutes after we're done with the show. If that's your favorite venue, by all means, click the subscribe, click the notify, and then you'll get the uh, notification when the video is ready. All right, that's it for today. That's also it from the beach, although I might record one just in case for tomorrow. Uh, but you guys have a fantastic day today. Uh, if you have any, Remember, if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave those in the comments. I'll look forward to speaking with you again tomorrow. I'll talk to you then.